On this episode of Best Horror You Never Saw, we take a look back at the 1987 sci-fi buddy cop action horror film, The Hidden, directed by A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy Revenge's Jack Shoulder, and starring Twin Peaks' Kyle MacLachlan, as well as Flashdance's Michael Nori. What's great about the film is that it starts with a high-octane shootout and explosive car chase, <laughs> and doesn't ever really let up in its entire 97 minute runtime. The film itself is about an extraterrestrial criminal who takes possession of human bodies. The first of whom is played by fellow Twin Peaks alumni Chris Mulkey, who portrayed Hank Jennings on the show alongside the aforementioned McLaughlin. The alien is thus revealed to be a remorseless killer, thrill seeker, and thief who will take whatever he wants, when he wants, and will murder anyone who gets in his way, leaving a slew of dead bodies in his wake, getting the attention of hotshot LAPD homicide detective Tom Beck, played by Michael Nori, who is forced to be partnered with McLaughlin's FBI agent Lloyd Gallagher. This is Agent Lloyd Gallagher, FBI Seattle. You'll be working with him the next few days. I'm in the middle of a case here. I haven't finished my shooting report. What am I supposed to do? Drop this? Doesn't anybody say please anymore? Please. Who has a personal vendetta against the alien criminal. If it's that simple, why is the Bureau sending you down here? You don't have anything on Miller because he's always changing his identity. The same with DeVries. You didn't have anything on him until a couple of weeks ago because that's when you finally caught up with him as DeVries. Now, while Detective Beck is initially skeptical about the otherworldly nature of the homicides in his city, I've been after it for a long time. Now it's here, on Earth. Oh, boy. Are we talking spacemen here? He starts to become convinced when random, ordinary citizens with no prior criminal record are suddenly turning into bloodthirsty murderers and criminals. You know what bothers me about these two guys, DeVries and Miller? Neither has a criminal record. They both lived normal lives till a few days ago, and now they're killing people. Read minds, or was that just a shot in the dark? As well as take excessive amounts of bullet wounds without showing any signs of pain or slowing down. As well as the fact that Gallagher reveals he is in fact an alien himself, though of a different species, who has been chasing down the evil alien now for nine years across the galaxy. However, taking out this particular alien criminal sounds easier said than done, as not only does he take on different human hosts, but he can only be killed immediately after a host dies, and it tries to escape, and not any time before or after. The way it works is it finds a body, gets inside, uses it to move around, it stays in that body until the body is so damaged it has to find another body. That's the only time I can kill it when it's between bodies. Not only that, but the stakes get raised even higher when the alien criminal is able to take the form of a powerful senator on his way to the presidency. I want, I want to, to be, be president. president. So can our heroes actually take him down at this point? Watch the movie and find out. Now, what makes this film fun is it's a great amalgamation of disparate genres and how well director Jack Shoulder was able to wrangle and make each of them work together. For one, you of course have the buddy cop dynamic between Michael Norrie's hot shot and hot temper detective Beck and Kyle MacLachlan's reserved and odd FBI agent Lloyd Gallagher, who even before his otherworldly reveal shows signs of both his intelligence. How'd you know about Miller? He used to work with DeVries. <laughs> Doing what? Pulling illegal U-turns? He didn't have a record till two weeks ago. He had a record long before that. As well as his eccentricities. Alka-Seltzer. You put it in the water and you drink it. But also his dedication to justice. I guess you could say it's personal. He killed my partner. I'm surprised the Bureau let you stay on the case. I hear they're not big on revenge. What would you do? As a cop? As a man. Which ultimately brings the two together in the end. 
They also have great chemistry together from their initial conflict. I don't know what you think this has to do with you, but you're out of line. The guy you came here for is dead. Your job here is done. I suggest you get on the next flight back to Seattle. Them slowly, but surely, learning to work together and respect each other, like any good buddy cop movie should. I'm going in. I'll cover you. I'd be safer if you didn't. Fine, I won't cover you. All right, cover me. You want me to fucking cover you or not? McLaughlin especially shines as Gallagher, which is impressive considering that this is his only third on-screen credit after his debut in David Lynch's Dune and Blue Velvet, and even before his more iconic FBI agent, Agent Del Cooper, appeared on David Lynch's aforementioned cult television series Twin Peaks. Not only that, but he also completely sells all sides of this character, from the passionate drive of the intergalactic lawman to the odd but amiable eccentricities as it becomes more and more obvious that he is in fact an alien in a human body rather than the by the books FBI agent he says he is, to the affecting display of raw emotions as he ponders the loss of his loved ones. My wife is dead. She and my little girl were killed by the man who killed my partner. Nori's detective Beck isn't as juicy a part, but he does an admirable job as a no-nonsense straight man, imbuing the otherwise stock archetypal character with a level of lived-in naturalism. What? You got a body at a record shop over on Melrose and Stanley. What is it, a phone Especially admits the otherwise outlandish circumstances he finds himself in. It's also refreshing that Beck seems to have a happy and healthy marriage, without the cliché domestic troubles that you usually see in these types of cop movies. There are also other small parts for actors who would later become genre staples in sci-fi and action films as well, such as Babylon 5's Claudia Christian playing Brenda the Stripper, who is later possessed by the alien criminal, as well as a young Danny Trejo. Now, as a sci-fi film, The Hidden actually has a pretty fun conceit, which greatly helps elevate it above the pile of other cop films from that era. Hell, it even beats the more successful Men in Black, another buddy cop action film with aliens that take on human form, by almost a full decade. Though this one even has an alien as one of the good guys. In fact, the film even predates Alien Nation, another 80s sci-fi buddy cop film by a year. But besides being a buddy cop action movie and a sci-fi film, The Hidden is also a bit of a horror film on top of that as well. A veritable genre pastiche smorgasbord. For one, the practical effects are killer, such as the alien criminal slithering out of a dying body, harkening back to similar scenes from John Carpenter's The Thing or David Cronenberg's The Fly, to the design of the alien himself, which is creepy and gooey and decidedly otherworldly. You are definitely rooting for our heroes to take this piece of shit out. There's also the great use of squibs and bloody mayhem throughout the film, which is sorely lacking in modern films which too often utilize CGI blood and After Effects plugins. The action itself is pretty top-notch in general, with the practical effects also elevating the amazing car chases and explosions, as the tactility of the practical stunts and pyrotechnics is something else also sorely missing in modern action films. Might not be as safe to do, but sure as hell is much more satisfying to watch. Now, the film itself was a modest box office success for New Line Cinema, and they even produced a straight-to-VHS sequel in 1993. The Hidden became one of the most popular sci-fi hits of all time. And now, they're back for more. However, and nonetheless didn't really leave much of a lasting impression, which is a shame because the film is a great retro blast. Meanwhile, The Hidden is currently available on DVD and Blu-ray, so if you haven't watched it yet, why not give it a shot? Anyway, thank you for watching our show. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our Joe Blow Horror Videos channel, tell your friends who like this sort of content, and turn on the bell to receive notifications for our latest videos. We're an independent company, and we appreciate all of your support.